Hello, so today I just want to share with you my layering combinations that I use for September of 2023. So to start off the month, I had Secret Sunrise from Victoria's Secret. This is just a really nice berry scent. There's a little bit of floral in it, but it's mostly just sweet berries. And I really enjoy it. It's a nice scent. And I decided to use my Donna Born Aroma by Valentino with it, which is just a really pretty scent. It's like a heavy scent in my opinion. It's really, really strong. So... I felt that the Secret Sunrise kind of just gave it a little more sweetness that I feel that it's lacking. Like, I wish that it was a sweeter fragrance. And this kind of gave it that edge that I thought it needed. It was nice. So next up for Secret Sunrise, I decided to use my Raspberry Ice Cream Sorbet by Dua, which is my favorite Dua fragrance. It is absolutely delicious. It smells like the sweetest raspberry and then that ice cream note in there. Oh, it is just so good. I just can't say enough good things about it. Is the only one that I have a backup of. I'm obsessed with this scent. And Secret Sunrise was just a sweet berry scent, so it just added more sweetness to it. It was fun. It was a good day. I like this one. Next, I moved on to Buttercups and Berry Bellini, which is a scent that I absolutely adore. This is definitely one of my top five favorite fragrances from Bath and Body Works. It has Strawberry Puree and like Prosecco. And I think there's a floral note in it, but I don't really smell that. Like, to me, it's just sweet strawberry with that little bit of bubbly. It is absolutely gorgeous, and it is strong, and it just smells so good. And I decided to pair it with my Black Opium Neon, which is just kind of like a fruity fragrance. Like, it has vanilla and orange blossom and stuff in it, but it's mostly just fruity, in my opinion. It's a really nice take on Black Opium. I don't think it smells like the original at all, but I enjoy this one, and I like using it. So this was really nice. So my next pairing for Buttercups and Berry Bellini, I decided to use my Raspberry White Chocolate by Dua, which is exactly what the name states. It is super gourmand. It is sweet raspberry with white chocolate and vanilla extract and vanilla cake. It is absolutely delicious. I love it. It's so nice. And this was just, it was really nice. I don't know. It's hard to complain when I use Buttercups and Berry Bellini. Like, I just love that scent. So anything I pair with it, I'm going to love. It's just... It's just how it is. So my next pairing for Butter Custom Berry Bellini, I decided to use my Charosa 40, which is one of my favorite fragrance mists that they make. It is the most perfect plum and vanilla fragrance. It is sweet, but not too sweet. And it just makes me happy when I wear it. Like, I just love it. And then mix it with the Butter Custom Berry Bellini, like that strawberry and the vanilla and the plum. Like, it was all working together great. This was so, so nice. I love this one. So my last pairing for Buttercups and Berry Bellini, I decided to use my Donna Born Aroma Rendezvous Pink PP. This, so this is the brand new one from Valentino. I had just got that one in the mail and I was like, I need to use this. And so I did. And so my thoughts on it are, I love it. I think it's wonderful. To me, this is the perfect amount of sweet that I wanted. Like it opens up kind of like Love Don't Be Shy. Like you smell that super sweet. And then you smell the orange blossom. And then when it dries down, it has that vanilla bourbon that's in the original Donna Born Aroma. I love this one. I like this one better than the original. I actually like this one better than Coral Fantasy, which is the one that I liked the most before. But this one is my favorite. And it's absolutely beautiful. Look at that bottle. It is gorgeous. So mixed together with the Butter Customary Bellini, this was magical. Like a beautiful, strawberry, sweet. Like it was just perfect. And I love this fragrance, and I cannot wait to wear it more and more and more. Next, I moved on to Hibiscus Guava Fresca, which is such a beautiful, fruity scent. Like, it's super sweet with the guava, and it has grapefruit in it. And, like, that's what I smell. I don't smell hibiscus or anything like that. Like, to me, this is just, like, super fruity, super sweet. Absolutely love it. And I decided to pair it with my Matte Candy Yum Yum which has guava in it, so it's the only reason I used it. And I'm trying to use it up because I don't love this scent. I just, there's something in it that I don't like. There's something that smells like green to me that's in it that I just don't enjoy. And it's not super sweet. Like you think it, I mean, it's called Candy Yum Yum. Like, why is it not sweeter? I don't know. Totally the wrong name for it, in my opinion. But it's almost gone. <laughs> I got through it, and the hibiscus guava fresca is a pretty strong scent, so it kind of drowned it out a little bit, made it a little bit better. So, I don't love this combination just because I don't love this perfume. Love the body mist, though. 
So next, I decided to pair my Hibiscus Guava Fresco with Oh So Sexy by Victoria's Secret. So this one does smell a lot like Shirosa 40. Like, it's the closest thing that I can think of to that scent. But I love it. <laughs> so, of course, I'm going to use it again. And, like, this was just super nice together. Like, super sweet and just fruity. Like, everything that I wanted to smell like that day. It was beautiful. I loved it. No complaints. For my last pairing of Hibiscus Guava Fresca, I decided to use my Victoria's Secret Tease Glam. So I picked this up at semi-annual sale, and I had never actually worn it. I had sprayed it on myself and smelled it when I got it, and I wasn't, like, super impressed by it. But I'm like, you know what? I need to try it out. And I'm glad that I did, because I like it a whole lot more now than I did when I got it. So it's a very uncomplicated scent. Like, the fragrance notes are just, like, meringue, peony and juniper berries so I mean it's not like a real complicated scent but it's absolutely a beautiful scent like it's sweet it's got a little bit of floral in it it's really pretty it's not one that I would run out and purchase again but I'm gonna enjoy this bottle while I have it I mean the bottle's super pretty too I mean just look at it you gotta love it right it's bright pink but this was really nice together I enjoyed this one and I'm glad that I finally gave this one a chance because when you have so many perfumes, sometimes it's hard to make sure you're rotating through them all and, like, enjoying them all. But this one was nice. Next, I moved on to Strawberry Pound Cake, which, of course, is my favorite scent. It's, like, the most perfect strawberry cake scent. It is so sweet and delicious and gourmand. Ugh. I love it. Drown me in it. I just love it. So I decided to pair it with my Charosa 71, which is my favorite of the Sol de Janeiro Mist. It is the sweetest, most gourmand like fragrance mist that I've ever smelled like it just smells like cookies it is absolutely delicious oh it was perfect together it was like strawberry cookie heaven I love this one this was so so nice so next I decided to pair my strawberry pound cake with a perfume that I got from the oil bar this is in the scent velvet sugar from Bath and Body Works it's not an exact dupe but it's pretty close I mean it's close enough <laughs> you know it's like 95% but it's really pretty. It is just an absolutely beautiful like strawberry and cream with a little bit of jasmine. Like it is a beautiful, beautiful scent that I hope one day they bring back. And this was just really nice together. I just really wanted to get some use out of this oil bar fragrance because I had never used it before. And I had used the other one that I have. So I wanted to try this one out and see how I enjoyed it. I don't feel like the longevity was super great on it though. But also strawberry pound cake is a super strong fragrance. So that probably had something to do with it. Like it was kind of drowned out by it, but I look forward to using it again in the future with something else maybe. So next for strawberry pound cake, I decided to use my Kayali Vanilla 28. I'm pretty sure I've paired these together, but you know, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, right? <laughs> so my Kayali is aging so well and it is just getting better and better. Like it's such a beautiful vanilla, like it's super sweet, but then there's more to it. Like it has dimension. It has patchouli and orchid and jasmine. It's just, it's so beautiful. I absolutely love it. And as it gets older, I feel like the staying power gets better and better also. So that's a plus because before it was not the best. But then mix it together with the strawberry pound cake. It was just kind of like so sweet and so pretty and so delicious. But a little bit grown up. It was really nice. I enjoyed this one a lot. And I will probably pair it together again. Next, I moved on to my beloved toasted praline and pear. This is one of the best pear scents that Bath & Body Works has ever made. This is from 2019. And I keep holding out hope that one day I will see it again. I do have one set left after this one. And then I guess after that, it will just be a delicious memory. <laughs> I mean, hopefully we see it again. I don't know. I don't know why they don't bring it back. It is so loved. And it is like pear and graham cracker it is just the best scent and i decided to pair it with my vanilla potion by true fragrance which to me is just a super sweet vanilla like it has some other notes in it but i don't really smell those like to me it almost reminds me of like a christmas cookies that's what i smell it doesn't last a long time so it's not like the greatest fragrance but i mean it wasn't very expensive so you just overspray it you know spray it some more this was absolutely delicious. I mean, it's already delicious by itself, but then you add some vanilla to it, it makes it even better. This one was great. Love it, love it, love it. Next, I decided to pair my Toasted Praline and Pear with my Pistachio Gelato by Dua. This fragrance is everything. 
So when I first got it, I wasn't impressed. Like, people were raving about it on YouTube and, like, TikTok. Like, it was, it was viral for sure. And I finally got my hands on it after they had to restock it. And I was like, what's the fuss? <laughs> the fuss was that it needed to sit and macerate for a while. Now, now it is everything that I hoped it would be. It is sweet. It is strong. Whew. I love it. And together with Toaster Plate and Pear, this was amazing. I mean, if you want to smell great, then you need to pair these two together. And this was super strong. Like, I could smell this on myself all day long. And I wasn't mad at it. My last pairing for Toaster Praline and Pear, I decided to use Eilish by Billie Eilish, which is no secret that I love this scent. It is like the most perfect vanilla with a little bit of spice. It is super pretty. And together with Toaster Praline and Pear, it was beautiful. I mean, pear and graham cracker and vanilla. How can you go wrong with that? This was so, so nice. Next, I moved on to Raspberry Tangerine, which is basically just a super fruit fragrance. It is raspberry, tangerine, and lemon. And it is super sweet, and it is just really, really nice. And it's kind of nice to have just a fruit fragrance. It doesn't have floral and, or any other notes in it. Like, it's just fruit. But I decided to add a little bit of floral into it because I decided to pair it with Gingham Gorgeous, which is a strawberry peach peony scent. And it is absolutely gorgeous. The name is perfect for it. It is one of the best gingham flankers that they've ever made. And I really, really like this. And together, it's just like a fruit bomb with a little bit of floral. And it was so pretty. Like, I love this one. My next pairing for Raspberry Tangerine, I decided to use Circus Fantasy by Britney Spears. I mainly picked this one because I don't think I've ever actually used it. And I, like I said, when you have a lot of perfumes, you have to kind of rotate them to make sure they all get some use. You know, you don't want them just to sit there. But this one's pretty. It's kind of just a fruity floral like most of her fragrances are. Has raspberry in it and like apricot blossom. It's a really pretty scent. It's nice. And then like the extra sweetness that's in raspberry tangerine kind of drowns out that floral a little bit. Like it was really pretty. It was a nice scent. I don't know if it was like something super special, but it was nice. For my last pairing for Raspberry Tangerine, I decided to use Lolita Land by Lolita Lampica. So to me, this smells like an orange creamsicle. It is absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love it. It is super strong. It is really thick. It's like a heavy fragrance. And it lasts a long time. So mixed together with like that tangerine and the sweetness of the raspberry, like it's absolutely beautiful. This was really, really nice. I like this one a lot. Next, I moved on to Blueberry Sugar Pancakes, which is one of the most delicious blueberry fragrances ever like I'm a sucker for blueberry fragrances but this one is top notch it is so sweet it's not tart like some blueberry fragrances it is gourmand it is just perfect it's strong I just really love it and I decided to pair it with crumb couture by sniff which is just a weird scent but it it works like it really does just smell like a croissant it's a little bit of fruit like it's it's really pretty I don't know how else to explain it it's kind of you have to smell it for yourself to really understand it, but it went so well with the blueberry sugar pancakes because it was just like a blueberry scone, you know, like, I don't know. It was absolutely delicious. And I think that the crumb couture had good lasting power. I've heard other people say that it doesn't, but I think it does. Like I could still smell it on my clothes at night before I took a shower. Like I don't have any complaints about it. I liked it. So next up, I decided to pair my blueberry sugar pancakes with my blueberry cookies by Dua. So, I have to say that this Dua fragrance is intense. Like, when I first spray it, I cannot even stand to be next to myself. Like, it is so freaking strong. And I don't like the opening of it. I mean, wait 30 minutes, and then it is amazing. It is, like, sweet with blueberries, kind of like a blueberry muffin. But it has, like, a little bit of perfume in the background. Like, it's just, like, it's like sophisticated blueberry cookies. It's really pretty. But it just, you just gotta get past that initial spray to get to the good stuff. So, you know, spray it on yourself 30 minutes before you leave the house. And then you will be smelling great. <laughs> but it was delicious. My last pairing for blueberry sugar pancakes, I decided to use my pink sugar berry blast. Which I'm pretty sure I've used these together before. This is basically like pink sugar with added berries. It is super sweet. But it's pretty. It's nice scent and 
you know, I just felt like after the day before of using the blueberry cookies, the trauma of the blueberry cookie opening, that I needed something that was a little bit lighter. <laughs> just something that I knew was going to work. And so I just went with this and it was delicious and I have no regrets. So next up, I used my bubblegum pop in my pink watermelon blast. So pink watermelon blast just smells like watermelon candy and it's absolutely delicious, super, super sweet. And then bubblegum pop literally just smells like pink bubblegum. It is such a fun fragrance and I absolutely love it. And together, these two just remind me of like a watermelon bubblicious scent. It is sweet and fun, just easy to wear. And I decided to pair it with my Ariana Grande Sweet Like Candy. So I have to say that before, I never realized how much I love this fragrance. I Maybe I just hadn't used it with the right combination. I don't know. But when I was wearing this, I was into it. I was like, I smell great. Like I was smelling myself all day long. I was all up on my husband, like smell me, you know, like it was, it was so good. Like I just can't get over it. Now I'm like super excited to use this perfume again. And maybe, well, hopefully it'll smell the same to me. Maybe that's just the winner of the combination right there. I don't know, but this one was great. And I was super happy to wear this. I almost wanted to wear it all three days, but I'm like, no, I can't do that. Gotta use up other stuff, <laughs> but we're gonna try it out again with something else and see if it's still as magical. So next up with Bubblegum Pop and Pink Watermelon Blast, I use this Le Bubble Pop by Gourmand Beauty. I don't love this fragrance. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like. I think it's supposed to smell like bubblegum, but I feel like none of their fragrances really smell like what they're supposed to. Like maybe they smell like it a little bit, but there's always something else. I don't know. I'm just not impressed with their fragrances and I wasn't impressed with this one. I actually kind of got like a rose note in this. So it kind of reminded me of Moschino Toy 2 bubblegum and I don't like that fragrance. I actually decluttered it at the beginning of the year. So I actually finished this perfume up and I'm glad that I did because I didn't really enjoy it. So this was nothing special. So next up for my bubblegum pop and pink watermelon blast combo, I decided to use just regular old pink sugar. I mean, you can't go wrong with pink sugar. She is tried and true. She smells great. She smells like sweet cotton candy. She's really strong and it was fine. I mean, it was a nice fragrance. It was just a really sweet fragrance. No complaints. So next up, I moved on to Velvet Sugar, which I love this fragrance. It is like a sweet strawberry with a little bit of floral. Like, it's just really, really pretty. It's just a pretty girl fragrance. And I decided to use my Thank You Next 2.0 by Ariana Grande, which is just a fruity scent. It's way better than the first one. If you tried the first one, the second one smells nothing like it. So if you didn't like the first one, maybe try the second one. But this was just really nice together. It was just fruity and sweet and girly. It was pretty. I just really wanted to use up my Thank You Next 2.0, and so I accomplished that. So next up for Velvet Sugar, I decided to pair it with my Okja Praise the Perfume. So this is a dupe for Cry Baby by Melanie Martinez. I didn't particularly like this version when I first got it, but now that it has aged, it smells a whole lot better. It's just like a powdery, sweet strawberry scent. So together, this was amazing. I mean, it smelled really good. Definitely like strawberry heavy, but it was really pretty. I like this one. And last up for Velvet Sugar, I decided to use my Floral Marshmallow by Dossier. This is their dupe for Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is just a super sweet marshmallow orange blossom scent. It is very pretty, very sweet, and it goes with pretty much anything. Like, I actually finished up my Dossier version, but I have some other dupes for it, and I love this scent. Like, I might eventually buy the original, or I might just continue to buy the Dossier version. I'm not sure. But I love it. This was beautiful together. My last pairing of the month, I decided to use Rainbow Swirl Candy. So this is like a weird cherry mint scent. I don't know what they were trying to go for here. I mean, I guess it really does smell like a cherry candy cane. But this was not it for me <laughs> in body care. Like, I did not like the body cream. It smelled weird. Not like it went bad weird, just it was made to smell weird. And then the spray, like, was tolerable once it dried down. But, like, when you were first spraying it, ugh, it was awful. <laughs> like, the finery, not another cherry, was my saving grace. Like, I love that scent. I think it's super pretty. And it kind of helped drown out the, the weirdness that is in this scent. 
So this is all my layering combinations for September. Let me know. What did you guys use together this month? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!